video is for my 3D design class. For this week, you are to make a cube, but you're not to use solid walls. Instead, you're going to be using strips of paper or thin cardboard like you would have on a cereal box. You need to have them seven inches long and the first thing you're going to do is fold them in half. So I'm going to just quickly fold my strip in half to show you where we're going with this. Now in class, students are going to be using poster board. It's different than our cereal boxes because in time to do this assignment, cereal boxes would not be collected fast enough. So we're just using a sturdy paper. You, if you have paper at home that's sturdy like a poster board, you're welcome to use it. Whatever it is, you have to make sure that you have at least seven inches. And we are going to need um, 12, 12 pieces of seven inch. Okay, so there's my strip now folded in half. So I'm going to use my ruler. I'm going to measure out seven inches and I know at the edge of the ruler there's a zero and you want to mark by that not the end of the ruler but the first line okay so now I could cut that the next thing I'm going to do is open my sliver up again a little bit and I'm going to measure at six and a half putting that on the full measurement there, but I'm going to six and a half. I'm going to make a little dot in that little space. There's a dot right there. Okay. And I'm going to do the same on the other end at my half inch mark. So I'm looking at a half inch on each end to make my mark. All right, I hope you can see that. Now what I'm going to be doing is taking my scissors and slicing to that little dot down the corner of my fold on each end. So I have a slice, kind of like rabbit ears, and I'm going to fold into my um, inside section. Okay, so the outside fold is here on the bottom, and the fold goes inside. Do it again. I'm folding inward on my little dot. And so now each end should have a half inch of overlap. And what I'm going to do is put those two flaps over top of each other, but I want to put a little dot of glue inside. Try not to be too messy with this. It goes a little quicker. Now I'm trying to square up this corner here so that it's a 90 degree angle when I'm putting that glue on. If I have any flap that's left over, I might snip that off with the scissors. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Add a little glue between my flap section here and making sure that I have a 90 degree angle corner as well. When you have all 12 completed like this, now you're ready to start creating your cube. Now if you notice, I've started with a frame and that is four strips put together um, at the corners. So if you look here, my corner of my frame piece fits very nicely with my long fold. So when you put this together, look for those folds and, and corners to meet. I'm going to be continuing this until it becomes a full cube. Once you have that full cube, you're going to take your two-dimensional project that you just finished and you're going to cut it and add it to your cube. What I'd like to see is negative space on your cube. Cut according to your design. For instance, if you have some background space, your design gets cut away in those spaces so that your shapes are part of your cube but not the negative space. 
So you should have a cube that looks holy in the end. There we go, there's some negative space. Look how interesting it's starting to look. And that's what you want for your box. I think this is the last one I'll do for now. And I will show you what I'm going to expect from you for this assignment. And I'm hoping that all my assignments are easy enough to do and are easy um, materials for this first part. But this is the first assignment in the 3Ds class that is gonna go to in the round. All the other assignments that we've done, um, aside from the Q-tip one, uh, we're starting to develop all sides of it. So that's exactly what you're gonna do with this. Now, I'm gonna flip this over. I have a portion of my box made, and I'm gonna actually show you the end of this. So you start off with your frame, and now I'm going to put my frame on top of my previous frame with sticks. And that's how my cube will be made. All right. Uh, I might as well glue this real quickly. It probably won't set up well enough for us to work with, but I'll try to work around that for this video. Uh, typically, whenever I'm gluing this stuff, I want to actually, let's do it this way, show you this. I'm gluing the tops, but I'm also gluing some of my side walls of my um, stabilizers here. And the reason is uh, so that it actually connects to the frame very nicely on all parts. If you don't have that, you do, may have some bending and warping. The other thing you want to really make sure you do is fold those corners really perpendicular to each other so they're nice 90 degree, degree square corners and then everything works out really good for you. Now it looks a little warped, but don't let that bother you because you are going to be covering most of this. Now one thing I did not mention is that you have the option of painting this before you start with your um, two-dimensional work. Now once again, this is my two-dimensional work and I'm flipping it over after I cut out pieces. I'm going to line it up to uh, one of my sides and I'm just going to draw where it lines up. And that would be right here. Oops, making sure I'm staying stable. You want to hold that down and just draw an outline. That's one wall. Now let's go to the other wall. Shifty, a little bit shifty there. Okay. Now I could use scissors and I'm going to cut that part out. And I'm going to immediately glue it to one of my walls. Now here's something to take into consideration. I just flipped this over so if I use it on my box, it may not be exactly where I think it should go because I'm using it as a mirror of itself because of the, the flip. So, now there it is. Oh, I got chalk on the back because I was showing somebody else in another class. This is a 3D class, how to do their scratch art, which they are doing for this assignment. Now I get to glue this right on top of my box and you can see how interesting that's starting to look already. Now if I had my box originally painted a nice color, it would add to the interest of the final. I'm just going to glue this on and you will probably use the back, add a little glue on your edges and that's really all you need to think about um, because you're going to be touching the frame of your box with those edges and not really anything else. So you don't have to put glue everywhere. You just have to put it only where it touches on those edges. Okay, and there we have it. That's got glue. It's looking pretty good. Now, after it's all glued and set up, I can see right now that this edge is a little bit overhanging. I'm not gonna worry about it. And the reason being, I can come back and slice that if it's in the way of the next wall design, okay? So you're gonna fill up your design. Let's say you ran out of something, like your design is gonna fit every corner or every edge. What you can do is cut it up even more and it'll go a little longer for you. So let's say I wanted to do just, just a corner section. Let me see if I can do this. 
right here. Let maybe say I just want to cover that section. All I have to do is put that section of frame over my artwork and only trace that section. It'll work just fine. So I'm going to show you that. I didn't cut out all my negative space. So it is helpful to see what is available and what isn't. But also, if you didn't do that uh, and you just painted it, that would also work, but it's better to have it cut out for a three-dimensional piece. So I just traced that, so I'm just going to slice. And now that is ready to go on my section. So I'll glue that like right there. All right, so that should help you understand how your box is going to come together. It's very intricate. All right, with that information, you see that's a really cool image there. But with all that information, you're going to have a very interesting cube. Take pictures from all sides and send them through Google Classroom. Once again, very simple. As long as you have your two-dimensional design done the week before, everything goes quickly. All right. Have a nice week, and I can't wait to see these. Bye.